So, this time I'm going to become a mage for sure. And we're going to try one thing. And then I will probably cheat a little bit. Well, I actually already cheated once, so... That's not really... Something unusual, I guess, but... I still kind of feel a little bit awkward about it. So what I'm going to try to rest a little bit and fight like this, you know. So we're going to kill first zombie, then we're going to retreat once again, rest once again, and then we're going to kill next one. You know, it's going to be a long fight. I know exactly that there's two of them here. At least two of them. I cannot see a second one. I cannot see second one. You know. That's the worst part of all this. I'm terrified. Okay, I need one of them actually, in, actually noticing me. Probably want this one to notice me finally. Okay, I expected that this one going to walk like this, but... Oh. Yeah, here we go. You know, I can fight off one at a time. But the second one approaches, I probably not going to manage this. I sadly cannot afford myself fighting two of them at the same time. So I actually know where I can get a lot of ingredients for my uh, restore magic potions, but... We'll have to <clears throat> go for another quest. Still actually being part of Mage's Guild, so I guess I still have to complete this one. You know what? I hope we cannot. I hope we will not face any more zombies here because, you know, that's. That will be awkward. Hold on a second. Where's the second one? Really? Right now, I'm afraid. I 
I remember there was two zombies. I remember there was two zombies here. Oh. Okay. Second one here and he's dead. Are those horrible creatures gone? I'm not going anywhere until they're gone. Horrible things. So you mean I have to kill all of them? Are you really saying that, I'm, that I'll have to kill all of them? I mean, that's actually kind of probably. Spectable. Okay, let's uh, make. Let's make restore health potion. Can I actually cannot make any other potion? <clears throat> well, right now I'm terrified. And my helmet almost destroyed. Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to make something terrible, but... I don't know. <clears throat> so it's probably actually even worse than adding potions or something. Still, <laughs> that's probably even worse than actually straight away adding potions. It's still better than some stuff, I guess, but. I mean, it's so bad because I actually never did up in process, so... That's really bad. Oh, you know what? We're not going to lose anything if we add a little bit more, right? <sighs> I mean, they're not that spawned, but still I, I don't know. Still kind of terrible decision. Hold on a second, I actually created a better one. Actually created a better version of Are the creatures gone? I want to get out of here. I've been trapped for days. 
I don't dare move a muscle until they're all dispatched. I see. So I'll actually have to kill all of them. <clears throat> you know, Flare actually feels a little bit better in this context. I hope that's not because of any zombies, you know. Okay, anyway, I feel a little bit braver with, with shield, you know. Oh, I forgot that I actually can run like this. That's probably just because of skill level. I'm not sure. Imagine having sneak about, uh, I don't know, 100, maybe? I should have probably opened door, but... You know, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. Okay, with some potions I actually feel a lot more comfortable here, but still. I still kind of believe that any enemy that actually deals physical damage stronger than me. Is they really stronger than me, you know? Oh. Hold on a second, is the zombie actually respond or... I guess the zombie actually respond. I would just need to understand one thing. Oh, I want to understand one thing. Where they actually appeared from. Because you know zombies not... not appear from a thin air, you know. Oh, I mean, they appear in Oblivion, probably, but... Uh... Well, actually, you probably can reanimate that, really, but anyway. But anyway. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what I actually mean. I'm so bad at this.
not like I really have any need for, you know, using healing magic right now, but... I really increase level of my restoration magic only when I actually heal something, right? So there is no point in using this at full HP, probably. Steel. So I can definitely see a passage here. So, I kind of believe that we actually got one more zombie here in, in this passage. Yeah. You know what the funniest part of all this? We've been taught uh, a fire spell before we actually entered here, right? And the funniest part of all this, if I remember right, and that's actually. Mostly vulnerable to fire here, so. I don't know, probably just coincidence, you know. Oh, you know, just a very interesting, you know, game design. you actually been sent to place with undeads with a spell that counters undeads but you know where, where zombies there must be a necromancer right um I guess no. Oh, I kind of believe we actually did all the dungeon. So we can actually go to this guy, but let's sneak around to this guy. Just in case. You know, I kind of want to notice my enemies before they actually notice me. So we're going to sneak around. <clears throat> and I'll spend a lot of money after this repairing my stuff. Especially helmet and shield. They're all gone? I can leave the cave? Oh, thank you. I'm ever so grateful. No problem. Heading back to Skingrad, 
can't you? Could I maybe come with you? It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? Okay, follow me. Oh, thank you. You're just too kind. I can't wait to be back in Skingra. Safe and sound. What a terrible play section. Probably have to learn fighting using my magic because, well, I have to use my magic anyway, right? At one point. I know that's actually kind of, I don't know, ironic probably, finding all those zombies in his cave. But I still kind of believe that something really odd with that. Like, you know, come on. You've been granted most efficient spell for clearing this place right before going this place and well i kind of believe that there can be zombies without one second one um Okay, I don't know what what this place actually meant for, but okay. Like you know, let's have a walk. Hmm. Restore intelligence and resist fire. Well, let's uh, gather a lot of a lot of grass. Oh. Oh, that was a mistake, but... That was a mistake, but anyway... Oh, this one actually looks... Uh... Oh no, my, my, my helm. Oh, this one actually... Quite powerful. Okay, let's move to the city. I probably can abuse this guy in company, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Because you know, we have, we, we still have one more quest. Before joining you know, guild. Well, we actually part of guild already, but you know.
we still need to unload, you know, recommendation from Anvil. So I could probably abuse this guy for this purpose, but he probably going to be a quite powerful mage, but I don't think that's small decision, you know. I don't really think that's small decision. But then again, that's probably smarter than you know. I want to hear a story about about this. I mean, that's my thoughts. So, I probably should be a rider on this one, I believe. How do you do? And what's even more interesting is this... Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I just hope that after all of this, she's not going to send him back, you know? It would be so stupid. Rescued. So it would seem. You're unharmed, I presume? Well, my pride is a little wounded. Oh, spare me. You're lucky I bothered to send someone after you at all. In the future, would you please be more careful? Uh, well, yes. I'll just pack up my supplies and be on my way then. Thank you for sending someone to help me. And that's it? Really? I guess not that cautious after all. Wake up. Wake up, I need my recommendation. What can I do for you? I've spoken with Erthor, who seems to be all right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. As I've said, I'm rather busy. I'll get to it eventually, though, I assure you. Good day. <clears throat> okay, now we just need to... Get to the anvil. First, we need to sleep. Yes. Oh, never mind. You're not my companion anymore. Hmm. That's a terrible idea. But still. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm not sure about luck, but I'm going to level up luck anyway. So, endurance and... Hmm. I probably want agility.
So you're still my companion, after all. Go ahead, please. I broke something or what? Or he just uh, enjoys following me around. Well, never mind. Let's leave them alone. I'm afraid now. I just hope he's not going to follow me around. Okay, so we need uh, something that looks like a forge. Oh, that's Fighters Guild, I guess. It's definitely an in. The children are starving. Please help. I'm only asking for enough. Thank you, kind sir. Bless I don't really have enough money to keep on doing so, but still. Um, oh, really? Baker's house. But I need a forge. How goes it? I guess that's okay. It's going just okay. But I need to find the forge. So we traders, hoping so chemical. Oh, I, I see. Over here. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Um, what? <laughs> Have mercy. Just one. I'm only asking for enough to feed. Thank you, kind sir. I don't mean to gossip. But he is mm -hmm. more than a bit strange. However, he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. Okay. Blessings of our trade upon you. Still, still need some help from local blacksmith. Greetings, friend. Well, I guess I'm close to. You know, to <laughs> never mind. So, all things are chemical. I actually been saved by, by not having any luck fix. Could have just started to not so loud, please. What a headache I've got. Mm -hmm. I'm Agnet the Smith. The pickled they call me. Sure wish I was pickled right now. <laughs> if I can't fix it, it ain't broke. 
that's actually quite cheap. Well, everything else I can probably... Yeah, everything else I can repair myself. So... I, interest you in some of my fine wares? I guess you're not buying potions, so I'm going to sell you my arrows. That I don't really need. That's a fair deal. I... Well, never mind, I guess, because no, this one have no charges, but still I feel some level of pain seeing magical items selling for 45. Thank you for your patronage. Don't really like me, I guess. All right. I accept. I have no choice. Don't try to manipulate me. Handsomely done. A pleasure doing. That's pretty good. I doubt it. Okay. Whatever you want. Don't talk such rot. I doubt it. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's level up speech a little bit. I doubt it. I accept. I have no choice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't talk such words. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, yes, whatever you say. I doubt it. What nonsense. <laughs> I doubt it. Good one. No more. Not now, not later, not ever. That's pretty good. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. I doubt it. How nice. It's just don't try to. Nah, never mind. I'm losing money and time on this. Whatever. Let's try to find a buyer for our potion. Oh, come on. Why this one closed? Me? Okay. I'm Falano. How's Flalo? As if that matters here. Can I interest you in some of my wares? So I'm going to sell this poison and this poison. And here we go. That's more than that's a good deal. Well my intelligence cannot be restored, so let's just I'm just fooling around, but still. All these potions of personality. Let's sell them too. Hmm. I don't think the potion of dispel is useful, so let's just sell this one. We can craft one more anytime, I guess. So, this one quite good. Hmm. Well, that's it. That's it, I guess. And we can actually sell fire sword, but not really. But I probably want to sell this. I 
Okay, so we finally have some money. Bye. We finally have finally some money, you know. So. Still not good enough. Still not good enough. I probably should sell something. Go ahead, please. Let's May I interest you in think a little bit. Wares? I don't really use poisons a lot, but I'm going to sell this portion of this spell, I guess. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, I guess that's enough. Farewell. I cannot sell anything else. So now let's find somebody who actually probably want to buy a Can you spare a coin? I can eat for a day with a single coin. I mean I can give you food but Thank okay. You, kind sir. I, I still kinda of believe that giving them food probably a little bit more useful than giving them money but Okay. So Oh, never mind. Shop there. Okay. My harvest. No. So now we can sell stuff. I mean, we sold a lot of stuff already, but we can sell all other useless stuff. Are you okay? I guess. What is it? Larthier is acting even stranger than usual, don't you think? Hmm. No. Safe travels. Farewell. Oh. Welcome to Colovian Traders, Skingrad's finest selection of general merchandise. I'm Gunder. Just let me know what you want. Oh, I just want I to sell you some way. junk. Really. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Sometimes I really want to sell my sword. Got a great deal there. Sometimes I'm, I really want to sell my sword, but not today. Not today. Let's sell some books. Actually bought before, but. <clears throat> a good price for a good customer. All of them empty. Okay. And let's sell the spells. Okay. Can you sell me um some hammers, please? Oh, that's probably too much. Come back and see me again. Yeah, probably going to come back later because, you know, I definitely look like a guy who actually going to come back. I 
I really want more items with shield effect. And this one still looks like... Uh, oh, never mind. That depends on where I'm placing this one. So if I'm going to place this one here, this is going to absorb fatigue. And if you're going to place this one here, this one going to fortify fatigue. I see. I see. Good afternoon. Something is just a bit off about this pile. Okay, now we're going to Anvil. And that's probably the last quest in <laughs> that we need to complete to finally join Mage's Guild. So what's in here? They're not going to ask uh, something hard of me, right? Associate, to earn a recommendation from me, you need simply prove you are able-bodied and prepared to learn something in the process. Oh, really? There's much I can show you. <laughs> Illusion, I see. Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, this is a serious matter and has consequences. Are you prepared? Uh, Unlike some... Yes, I'm ready. Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. Um, isn't that dangerous? Indeed, it may well be. I see no reason to shelter you from situations the Guild deals with on a daily basis. This is the important work, the work that matters. I have no time for Guild recruits that are useless in the field. This will be an excellent way for you to prove yourself. Okay, go on. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. Hmm. Okay, that actually looks uh, interesting. That probably sounds a little bit harder than... Uh, that actually sounds pretty much harder than anything we encountered before. Oh. Sparky. Hello there. Okay. So... I don't really remember, but some food actually restores magic to But I cannot remember which one. Oh, anyway, let's keep going. We have an, we have an investigation to like this. Still. Still. How far we need to go? Well, that's not that far, but... <clears throat> this one looks kind of suspicious. 
Let's grab some of over there. Let's make some potions once again. Useful here and some some leaves. Okay, now this divider just just disappeared and it really looks awkward. It really looks awkward. Um. Okay. I oh, probably, probably should have actually used that guy. I guess I cannot catch butterfly. Arrows root land. Hmm. Restore agility, damage, luck. Hmm. Some poisons. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. We have a long road ahead. I should have grabbed my horse, actually. <laughs> well, anyway. I know one... I have no one spell, and I'm not afraid to use this one. As I mentioned before, I know one spell, and I'm not afraid to use this one. Okay, I guess we have a camp nearby. Don't really know. Actually, who's camp? But anyway, Bergamot seeds. Resist disease. Dispel. Well, I really want to know about um, you know. This is a hold up. Hand it over or die. Of course, of course. Who actually would have guessed? Who actually would have guessed? You know. Um. the way this one prefers it. Finally. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. Okay, so... I guess we succeed in this battle. <laughs> but 
this one intervention actually been quite surprising, I guess. Guards in this game not often joins the fight. I mean, if this uh, if this one approached me a little bit later, I would have probably fought against him in solo. But he's not very smart, so I actually used God's help. What a lovely place! I want to steal some grapes. I feel like I'm going to regret this, but... So what about these grapes? Grapes definitely can be used. Some potions, yes. Tomato. Oh, excuse me, tomato. I promise to always... Promise to always say tomato. So... Oh, really? Okay, so... What can we do with that? We restore fatigue. Oh, never mind, we can damage intelligence. Just repeat after me. Just repeat after me and damage your intelligence. Okay, so... Strawberry, your poison. It's the post. Um, Stop personality. Restore personality, okay. <clears throat> I'm so bad at fighting, but still. Uh... Kinda okay at creating po poisons and potions. So we have graveyards here, and um, I have a bad feeling about this, you know? I mean, people disappearing along the way. How do you do? Western Cyrodiil is called Colombia. Hello there. And include Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Carrier has sent you, as you know. Got 
speak with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your meat, I will meet you there. If anyone asks, you are a traveling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. No, friend. I'm afraid I don't know the way to Shaden Hall. But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. Oh, good day. You too. A strange place. Hey, uh, what is it now? Well met. What's new with you? I ran across a couple of... Welcome to the Breena Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat? Or perhaps a bed for the night? It's kind of friendly, actually. Is the key to success in any endeavor. Let me guess. Traveling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. Let me guess. Oh, much? Ah, yes, thought so. We get many of them traveling through here. Oh, well, we used to. Haven't seen as many lately. What with the, uh, well, you know, the murders. I don't like to talk about it much, as it's bad for business. At any rate, would you care for a bed for the night? Right then. The bed is just upstairs at the back of the inn. Sleep well. Bye. Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Yes, that's right. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take care of yourself. I'd hate to hear about another senseless death. Good luck to you. Hello? I kinda believe I know what's the issue here. Just look at this one. Not at not the cam not at the Caminalda. Not at the Kristoff. But look at the Ariel. I don't know. I I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. What brings you here? Hello there. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Let me in. Let me in. All right. It should be safe to speak here. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road heading east towards Kavach. <laughs> I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. Should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. I see. Once the mage has revealed himself, we will step in and settle a matter quickly. Now get yourself some sleep. You'll need to be well rested. Okay, I guess I guessed wrong, but I have so bad feeling about this. Goodbye. <clears throat> you know, these two actually so unnoticeable. <laughs> I'd rather believe they're going to attack me, not anybody else. You know what? Let me collect. 
some herbs along the way. If we're just going to travel here anyway. I'm afraid your journey ends here, traveler. Let me grab some herbs. I'll be taking whatever you're carrying. After you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. They were most disappointing. Really? Oh, never mind. You actually a mage. Oh, good luck fighting them. Oh. She's a necromancer. Can I look? I'm interested what this key all about. <laughs> Still. Imagine going back and... I don't know. Seeing that everybody actually dead. I don't know, I don't really believe that I look like a, you know, merchant, but I guess that's fine. <clears throat> so, damage luck. This actually sounds like a really good poison. I'm not really sure about what's lag doing, but what is that doing? Still. Almost like really good poison. How do you do? I'm fine, thank you. I'm going to become mage after all. How should they feel about all of this? Wake up, we need to talk. So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? A she, you say? And she's dead. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No more innocent deaths. At least for now. You have done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation to Ramirez. Though I must say I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. I see. Take care. So now we're going to work in university. Hmm. Someone had the zombie. Hold on a second, we actually have a headless zombies too. Not just the normal ones. Okay. Oh. Oh. So. Going all the way back to Arcane University. What is it, citizen? Now everything just fine. Uh, 
I probably should see a tower from here, but never mind. That's not very important. That, that's not really important. Or anything. Hi there. What's new with you? Good afternoon. Hello, associate. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the university. As a full-fledged member of the Majors Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of Apprentice and grant you the robe of the Apprentice. Okay. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. So let's see. Oh, fortify real power for points on self. Not bad. Not bad, really. Okay, let's fix my equipment and let's fight at the arena, I guess. Let's go to the arena. You won. Congratulations. Oh, I forgot. About Here are this. your winnings, my friend. Fifty gold pieces. Come back and bet on the matches as often as you like. Okay, thank Not, I want one of those. So mm. Okay, let's save and oh the yellow team ain't gonna fight itself you lazy pit dog you ready for a match or what of course you must be downright determined to get yourself killed huh okay then head back up to the arena and try not to die before the gate opens i'm so afraid i'm so afraid right now Oh, I can actually heal after battle. Okay, okay. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Are you ready for a bloodbath? The winner of this match will advance in rank, so the stakes are high. Pit dog. Show us what you're made of. Okay, okay. Oh, this one actually Archer. You know, relentless approach. Mm -mm. 
<clears throat> Never mind. It was close. <laughs> Oh, never mind, this guy pops from a yellow team, I see. Okay, so... I actually forgot that I can hit here. So anyway... I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're no longer a pit dog. That's right. You've actually advanced in rank. Congratulations, brawler. I want to joke about this, but I guess I'm chicken brawler. Sorry. Sorry for this one. Okay, we're fighting here just to, you know, level up some stuff like this. And actually, my ability to, <laughs> to use my blade. You know what brawler rank is worth around here? Nothing. Face it, kid. You're still a maggot. You need to keep fighting if you want to be somebody. Um. Oh, okay, I'm ready for match. Okay, brawler. You know the drill. Head up to that arena and show him who's boss. Okay. Sounds easy. I mean, we farm in gold right now, so some farm in gold. <clears throat> Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. This match. Okay, I guess at least this one going to fight in me. <clears throat> You know, I probably want to change my magic right now. But I'm not sure about this. Yeah, never mind. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Interesting. It's so maneuverable. So maneuverable. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind, I lost this guy. Victor from 
the blue team leaves the arena now and rest. You earned it. I guess. It's actually been a little bit closer to defeat than I expected. Four wins is okay, kid, but it don't make you grand champion. Here's your payout. Now go clean yourself up before your next match. That Raymond's getting a little tight on you, brawler. I think you need some exercise. What do you say? Ready for a match? All right, brawler. <clears throat> this next match is going to be a challenge. Turns out there are two Wood Elf sisters who always fight together. They're twins, actually. You gotta take them both out. Now get in there and show those tree climbers who's boss! Um, I actually have nothing against, uh, you know... You know what? Let's try. Let's try this magic. If I remember right, shock actually works against everyone equally. Or at least I remember so. Please tell me there is no archer among them. The yellow team's wood elf twin sister. Let's find out. Hmm. So one of them actually archer. I kind of believe that Paralysis is probably actually can be quite useful here. Okay, one down. <clears throat> Just a relentless assault. Just a relentless assault. Not really. Come on, stop running. No, really, stop running. Okay, you know what? I'm using I'm using new I'm using different magic from now on. against this one. We have all the time in the world. Oh. She's running so fast. 
and I'm so ter terrified of this. So Interesting. I almost forgot how fast they can be. Actually, almost forgot how fast they can be. So. Luck, endurance, and and will power, I guess. So now I have level. Level 7. And I'm still terrible at uh, sustaining damage. Ha, those girls didn't stand a chance. Good job, Brawler. Here's your take. One more match and you'll advance again. Good. You beating those twins is a good sign. You got a lot of fight in you. Let me know when you're ready to get bloody again. You might be ready, but the arena ain't. Matches take... Oh yeah, I forgot all this. Get him. Okay, so we're actually waiting until nine AM. You beaten those Your next opponent is a Khajiit. Not one of the quick jumpy ones either. This cat goes in heavy, usually with an axe. Now go get him. Okay, it, that that will be actually easier than everything before because we can, you know, just use a uh, shocking touch. And you know, we have this beautiful shield. Yeah, I guess I can win this. I guess I can win this. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. The winner of this match will advance to the rank of Blood Letter. Wants it more? The yellow team or the blue team? Let's find out. Whoa, that was close, that was close. Completely lost to this guy. I don't know, this guy's so fast. Oh, I broke my shield. I 
have my helmet. I just glad that I cannot really break my, you know. <laughs> Other items. I want this axe, really. But I'll have to leave this one here. And I shouldn't, should, shouldn't have actually used all of these potions I used because you know we can restore here. I just thought that we have to fight a little bit longer against him. Okay, so you can fight. Your new title is Bloodletter. You're getting into the real game now, kid. More gold for more blood. Don't disappoint me. Well, first of all, I'm going to... <laughs> fix my equipment, I guess. Can I fix my items myself? Please tell me I can. No, I cannot. Okay, so let's go and fix our stuff. Hail, good citizen. How can I be of service? Do I look like do I look like a citizen? I mean, I'm wearing gladiator armor. Do I really look like a citizen? Well, anyway. Hi there. Rats? They got fighters drill people out killing rats. What? Mm. Let's get to training. Interest you in some of my wares? Um, you just got all those arrows. Come back. I can fix what. Okay, so thank you for fixing all of this. And I'm going now. I'll be going now. I actually want to buy myself something magical, but I don't have enough money. See anything you like? May I you well, I mean, I I can man. definitely see something I like, but uh, uh, sadly I cannot afford myself something like this. Thank you for your pay. May I interest? It's been a pleasure doing business with you. <clears throat> so let's get back to the arena. I guess we can afford ourselves um, to get one more rank. You 
donated the blood letter, which is more than I can say for most people who step into that arena. Keep it up. The next opponent is a red guard. I've seen him fight with both a mace and a sword, so be ready for either one. Okay, thank you. It's quite useful information, really. Oh, it, that's really useful information. I mean, Red Guard's actually good fighters anyway, so... I even w probably want to say Natural Born Warriors. First of all, this one. Second of all, Not good, not good. Glad I saved right before this fight. Okay, so let me think. So snowball. And the zombie, starlight, scamp. Um, can I actually spawn, uh, minions on the arena? I don't really remember. And let's try snowball.
will be mine. That's quite expensive spell, actually. So, okay, shield. Oh my. Woven helmet and silver mace. Oh, this guy was actually pretty tough. I'm probably going back to, you know, using one-handed sword and shield in the next fight. <clears throat> anyway, we almost managed to actually win this. Well, I mean, we won this, but... That was a good fight, Bloodletter. You really showed that Red Guard who's boss. Here's your take. Now go clean yourself up. Come on, Bloodletter. Don't lose your momentum now. Keep... Your next opponent wears a heavy raiment, but attacks with a short sword. She's like a heavily armored wasp and has the temper to match. Careful. That sounds terrifying, but... At least this time I haven't shield, so I guess. Uh... <clears throat> but I have no more powerful magic to use. Really. Try to good people of the Imperial City. Welcome to the arena. You came to watch these two bloodletters do uh, that's the woman shield, right? And their dial to prove their worth. That's the woman shield, right? I kind of believe that's a dwarven shield. Soon help. <clears throat> that was unexpected. That was unexpected. I'm sorry. I'm... It was quite intense. That was quite intense. Really. <sighs> Here's your payout. 
I mean, I'm a bird in my soul. My red room got its paint job from fighters like you. After you disemboweled the next idiot, I want you to smear his blood all over the walls. <laughs> uh... Next up is a dark elf. I've never seen him fight before, but he's got a bow as well as a sword. So be ready for a ranged attack. Okay. I mean, I can probably use Dragon Skin at the beginning, but I'm not sure. After using Dragon Skin, we'll have a one minute to finish him off. It's a good ball action. Fall before me, Breton. Oh, he's so fast. Okay, you know what? Let's try. There's always one in Berserk of Passion. close as I mentioned before we have one minute why I'm using this well never mind I'm just uh, leveling up my ability to, to restore I guess I'm just guessing I'm not sure Should I say Myrmidon? That's right, you've risen in rank. <laughs> you know how it works. More blood, more gold. Here. Okay. So. Once again, my helmet broke completely. I believe that's just okay. So. Taking my weapon with me, and oh, silver arrows actually. Okay. You know, one day we're going to finish all these quests. Oh, actually, 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 actually. Am I good enough already to? I remember that this whole cabot quest. Hey, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here in the bloodworks before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Agranok Gromalag. Most people just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know, but the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. I'm more than happy to oblige. Ah, so you're an arena combatant. It's always good to meet a fellow warrior. Especially one who isn't here just to kill the Grand Champion. 
Yes, it's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. Oh, really? I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have become the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. Mm. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. Ask me so much, and I may be able to help. Tell me more. I grew up here in the Imperial City, <clears throat> but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus and resided at his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. The Lord and my mother grew close and ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the lady learned of my birth, she was furious and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. I see. I see. My mother died recently. Before she <coughs> passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth, Crowhaven. Crowhaven is a ruined fort far to the west of here. I'd go myself, but my training regiment doesn't allow for the luxury of such an excursion. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven and use the key to unlock whatever it is that holds the proof of my birthright. Okay, okay. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me. You can't learn these moves in a book. No problem at all. Actually, thought that I have to, you know, wait with this quest a little bit longer, but. I guess no. I guess no. I can have this quest right, right away. Okay, so where we need to go? Well, I guess first of all we need to get out of Imperial City. How far? Oh, really? This far? I mean, we're probably not going to finish this quest today, but at least we're going to start, you know. So let's approach the entrance and well, and all this stuff. And we'll finish this one next time. And actually next time we probably going to proceed with main story because, you know, it's really important to <clears throat> actually finish story. Faster than I'm doing it already. Also, in other way, I'm going to probably regret. Uh, I remember that I, I really remembered that this one have a quest. I don't really remember what this one all about. I mean, there are probably no enemies that can surprise me any any longer. 
Oh. Probably. Rest in peace. Rest in, rest in peace, Luna. You know, uh, Young Hunter. I forgot the word, yes. Probably this one can count as a brain lag. So... So... The crow... Oh, I see. Skeletons. Where are you going? Go fight me. That's actually very weak. But still, undead is undead. So. I expected something like this, but at the same time. Still kind of hate situation getting us so into. You know what? Let's uh, go down here. I presume. I can remember Minotaurs in this game, and I hope I'm wrong, and there is no... Oh, that, that's scary. So scary. So let's approach those ruins and we're not going to clear them today, but I can see a crab. I can see crab. Golas Malatar. Hmm. Sounds powerful. I mean, sound sounds really great. It's probably been a great city before. Something. <clears throat> oh, let's have a closer look. I'm probably going to regret this decision, but I'd rather regret uh, going here than regret not going here. Oh, I can see crabs. Well, one crab, really. Terrifying opponent. What a lovely statue. Hmm. So... I want to joke around, but imagine finding a, you know, giant crab somewhere here. Just imagine for a second finding a giant crab scary I mean those crabs are quite big too but imagine finding a really big one 
Okay, so. We can enter here, but we're not going to. And here we can do nothing. Okay, I guess we're going to stop here for today. So, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do something else. I don't really know what, just yet. I'm not going to promise anything because uh, promising not really a not really a my thing, you know. So anyway, so anyway, see you guys tomorrow and have a good rest and well, take take care. Really, take. It's very important to care to take care. So anyway, bye.